What is going on fam? Dar Sizzle here. Today we are doing something a little different. We're not going offshore. It's a little on the windy side, so a little too rough for our little boat here. But we are headed up to the Lake Worth slash Palm Beach Inlet. And we're going to go ahead and check it out today, see what's going on up there. Hopefully we're going to catch a fish or two. That's the goal, catch a fish. Maybe we can get something nice. But um, this time of year where there's a lot of fish in the inlet, so hopefully we'll get something right now. But we're almost there, so we got to start fishing. Right, Sizzle. It's, it's a beautiful day out here, and right now we're actually in West Palm. There's a West Palm Beach city behind us, and we got a little bit of a late start. We're doing the 9 to 5 fishing team today, so <laughs> we're going to see what happens. But along the way, I guess uh, I'm going to show you some of these great sites you guys can come down and visit uh, around Peanut Island and West Palm. And again, here's West Palm Beach. We're passing it right now, and you can stop here, and there's plenty of places to eat and have a nice time and go on these docks and, and see concerts and everything else. And uh, we're almost there, so let's hopefully we're going to catch a fish super soon and uh, have a great time. Please escort. Whoop, whoop. We are now at Pina Island and I just, we just got out of the boat. I got my cast net here and we're looking for bait and I really don't see anything, unfortunately. So, ugh, frustrating. We're here yeah. too late. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a good spot to, to you know, talking about spots to hang out here in West Palm, it's a great yeah. spot to bring your boat and vacation with your family. And, you can take a water taxi over here. I'll put up video right here. Good morning. How are you? Just to let you know, no fishing allowed in this area, okay? okay. What about, right. can we catch bait? No. No? No fishing allowed. It says okay. by, in the signs by the entrance. Okay. So right. We're in trouble. No fishing allowed. <laughs> but, but you can still have fun. This family can still have fun here. They don't got to fish. All right. So we get yelled at. All right. So we got to go. Whatever, bro. I've been catching bait here for years. Just saying. So Peanut Island doesn't like fishermen. I remember, I remember to see that episode. <laughs> I you guys a lot. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> see, they're, 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 down, they're keeping the fishermen down around here. Okay, I just got a smoke and run from a fish. We are now here. Whoa, Big Bear Poo just did a huge jump. That was cool. I'm surprised he didn't break me off yet. I might lose him. Just warning, warning. I've got a fluorocarbon leader on uh, this lure I'm pulling, which is my lip diver. And I just hooked a barracuda, and he's still hooked somehow, and he didn't cut the line yet. But we are in the middle of the inlet, like I was saying before, and there's not a whole lot of people here. There's boats going out, going fishing, but um, we're just gonna we're gonna hit it hard and see if we can get any fish. Oh, Woo. that's a good one. That's big. <laughs> All right, I got you on the boat. Check it out. Nice little barracuda. Did a couple jumps for us in the back there. Sorry we didn't get that on film for you, but. Nice guy, we're not gonna eat him. Definitely release him. He's a little on the skinny side, actually. I think he should be a little more fatter, but yeah, this guy was hungry. Sorry that wasn't a real meal, meal dude. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and release him. Get some more fish. Head first he goes. There he goes. Nice. I think I still got it. All right, we got another fish on. We are now trolling three lines and we just moved out a little further out of the inlet to see if we could get a different fish another bite and sure enough we just hooked up so gonna bring this fish in it'd be funny if it's Benita bring him over here Sizzle let's go Sizzle can't get this fish up fish on the other line fish on Shit. grab it I'll get this fish. Alright. It's too big. Got it. We're having trouble around here. We got bonitas and fish going everywhere. It's rough. We need more people. We're, we're bringing in that bonita, having a terrible time. Good light tackle. And this, this other lure got hit right here. I don't like biting these things, I don't like tackle. Woo, let's go, Sizzle! Come on, Bonita. You're lit, you're lit! Yeah. Savage. Savage. You know that? That wasn't savage. No. What would Logan do? Let's bring that fish in, guys! No! Zoom! We're back! I need a break after that. That was, <laughs> that was like exhausting. Hey, today we're supposed to try something different and go to the inlet and not catch bonitas. <laughs> and what do we do? Catch two at once. 
All right, time oh. to go back in the inlet. All right. I just dropped down a rig on the bottom, kind of with just like my normal mutton snapper rig I would use bottom fishing offshore. Whoa. Ow. I just got tail whipped by a runner on my belly. All right, I'm going to drop down another bait, see if I can get another fish. Another cool thing about fishing in Palm Beach is this is what you guys get to see. These epic, sick, savage sport fishes like this gorgeous Viking here. Look how gorgeous that boat is. Oh, he just honked for us. So maybe one day you'll see me owning one of these or have it. I don't know. That would be awesome. A big dream. But follow your dreams, guys. Oh my gosh, guys. All right, whoa, I have got a serious fish on right now. This is a good fish. Coming up, coming up. It's a big stuff. Nice, guys, all right. I just put this line out. Brian just got mad at me for putting this line out. I did. Telling me that I'm wasting time here. And I just got a slot, over slot snook, baby. Hopefully we can land her. She got her, oh my gosh, she side hooked. Oh, okay, what a right, monster. No more jokes, no more jokes. Okay, let's go. All right, yeah. Oh my gosh. Big snook! Right. Oh my gosh. Killer! Killer! Boom! Fish in the boat! Boom! Boom! That's a 40 incher right there! Let's get all the way to the, the bridge. Let's go, we're going, we're going. Sick fish! I can't believe I just caught this fish. Dude, I always put out an extra line. I never usually ever catch anything on this extra line. And sure enough, just hook this monster snook. I gotta get this and get him out of him. He got one heck of a fish, man. He's a 35 incher. Gorgeous, gorgeous snook. On the hothead lure. That was awesome. Heck of a fish to end the day, guys. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful fish. I really I'm shocked I just caught that fish, to be honest with you guys, because I have pulled so many lures through that bridge. And sure enough, you know what did it? Was that Rapala? X Wrap 30 Magnum in the hothead color. So if you're interested, I've linked it down in the below in the past. I'll link it again. But you just saw this snook had no problem munching on that. And unfortunately, she got side hooked. Um, you know, th that happens sometimes every once in a while, but she should be okay. We got the hook out of her. So uh, now I just got to revive her for a minute or two and uh, let her go. Okay. So I just literally just spent, you know, the last three or four minutes with this fish. A lot of times you just want to hold them in the water, snook. You know, you, get, you gotta give them a chance to revive. You gotta give them a chance to get their breath back and to swim off. And I know this fish is ready now because she's biting me really tough. So this fish is ready to go and I've revived her properly and this, this scar should heal up no problem. So snook are pretty resilient. So here we go. I'm gonna release the big girl. What an epic day of fishing. There she goes, gorgeous. That's exactly what you want to do with these fish. Take your time with them. If you think they're, you know, you've been reviving them too long, wait a little longer. You know, give them that extra, you know, give them that extra time in the water and hold on to them until they're ready to go. So that fish was beautiful. What an epic day of fishing. Make sure, don't let the boys tell you what to do because I just slayed the fish and with the epic fish at the end of the day. Thank you guys so much for watching. We appreciate you. And until our next adventure, follow your dream and keep on catching. Boom! I rule, girls rule, boys drool. <laughs> I totally was bitching like a like an old man. No, what, what happened was I had that lure out and he's like, you're gonna get me mad right now. I'm like, yes, I've left it out. And then we went under that bridge. As soon as we went under the shadow line of the bridge, I thought I, I picked up the rod and actually dropped the rod so I could get the lure lower in the water. And instantly I thought I hooked bottom. It, it hit it that hard. And then that's when Brian was like, you hooked bottom and got all upset and realized it was a monster fish. Killing it!